Hey there, I'm Julia from Map Creator, and today I'm going to show you how to create a map video in the Map Creator tool. Here you can see the video that we're going to create today. So if you want to know how to do it, then just keep on watching. The first thing you want to do when you open the Map Creator tool is look on the bottom left corner of your screen where you find the camera icon. When you click on this, the option for a video will appear. The first thing to do is to choose your frame size. You can choose whether you want to customize this or click on one of the presets. When you click on it, it is automatically selected. For this project, I want to click on landscape. Once you've determined the size of your project, simply scroll into the area you want to display and click on add keyframe to add this as your second keyframe. Afterwards, you can decide your transition time. The longer you make this, the more time it takes to get from frame one to frame two. You can also decide when you want to ease into the frames or not. Now we are going to add our first element. We are going to add the country Austria and we want to color this area in a dark red. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Now I'm going to tilt my map and kind of shift it around a little bit until I get a placement that I like for this project. You can either do this manually by pressing with your right mouse and scrolling into the map, or you can do this via the top bar. In the top bar, you can also select the detail level you want for this map and scale by rolling the slider. This can also be done by zooming in or out, so it's whatever you prefer. Once you have this in a position that you like, simply click on the camera in the rectangle to reposition your keyframe. The next thing we are going to add is the area of France. We are going to give this a blue color and once again, shift and tilt the map a little bit until we're happy with the position. From here, we're going to add one last area, which is going to be the Netherlands. I'm going to zoom in a bit more because the Netherlands is significantly smaller than the other two countries we've added, and I'm going to give it a dark green color for styling. Once again, I'll shift and tilt a bit until I'm happy with its position and then save it as a keyframe. Now I want to add one extra keyframe, and for this I want to make sure that all three countries are visible in it. I'm going to tilt it a little bit so that there's a bit more interactivity when this is loading, and I'm going to place it in the position that I like. Once you add the keyframe, you can of course change it, zoom in a little bit, shift to left or right, and click on the camera in the rectangle to save the current view as the keyframe. Now I'm going to go to the timeline, and this is really where the fun happens. You can see where a area starts with the animation and where it ends. You can select animations by clicking on the left side of the timeline or clicking directly on the shape on the map. Here you can decide whether you want elements to fade in or out, or if you want them to appear instantly, and at what time you want that to happen. I make use of the timeline to see what time is between which keyframes and what the end time is to determine what time I want my item to appear or disappear. To make it a bit more smooth, I chose in for fade in and fade out. As you can see on the timeline, it displays when something ends, when something finishes, what the transition time is, and when each keyframe appears. Now let's add a bit more interactivity and let's add some text boxes. When it comes to adding text boxes, you can decide what it is you want to display. You can display data, as I did here, for example, with Austria, and simply drag and drop it into position. You can decide the styling for the colors and once again decide what you want for animation. You can look when you want it to appear, depending on when it is going to be in screen, and you can decide whether you want to grow it in, fade it in, or have it pop up instantly.
Another way to place a text label is by uh, adding its exact location. That's what I did here for Paris. You can also once again animate it how you want and change the colors according to your style or preferences. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to add an icon. It is exactly the same as adding a text box, but I wanted to show you just in case. You can either search for one in the map creator set or scroll through it to pick an icon that you like. I'm going to drag it on the map and then scale it how I want it resized. And once again, animate it in the time that I want it to appear and disappear. Now, as you can see in the timeline, all our elements are added. We can see when they appear. Once we go to keyframe, you can simply click them and play through them to see what keyframe is what and what exactly happens on your map. By clicking on the play button, you get a preview of the project you just created. Now it's time for our last step, and that is to export our project. You can either export it from the upper left corner of your screen, or you can export it directly from the export button next to your keyframes. You can choose which format you want, the frames you want per second. You can once again check out the aspect ratio, whether you want this changed or not. And if so, you can make sure to make your project linked. Now we simply click download and wait for the download to happen. Please make sure to keep this tab open until the map is fully downloaded. I'm not going to bore you with the one minute wait. So here we are, the map is downloaded. And once again, here we can preview our project. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And in case you want to see anything else from Map Creator, please let us know.